Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the government of Jamaica finally responding to news about them having to pay for Vibes Cartel legal fees to the UK Privy Council. Also, we're going to talk about DPP Paula Llewellyn makes it clear that she has not resigned. Also, we're going to talk about Jeffrey uses Aishana to expose footer hype. And also, we're going to talk about Shakin Murray speaks out about artists being targeted by the police. And this comes after Kraft recently got into a situation with some police in halfway trees in. Also, we're going to talk about Bujabantan's son Miles Mary, and it is rumored that today is his funeral and a post was sent in over from Pinkwall. All the people are sent out them condolences and you know, show support to Bujabantan and his family and thing. So what we'll talk about it is it. Also we're we'll going to talk about Tony Mataran sending a stern message to dancehall artist Kraft. Also we're we'll going to talk about Sean Paul winning his first Latin Music Award. Also we're we'll going to talk about Baker getting into problem with police in halfway tree. And also we're we'll going to talk about Prime Minister Andrew Holness being urge to get rid of Sir P from out of the system because according to this brother here, Sir P is the one who kind of cause a lot of crimes and violence in Jamaica. You see my people? From what they miss a couple of people have said that, you know, but not sure how much people will definitely agree with that because Sir P, you have a lot of people who actually love him and love the works for him. You see it? So, what about it? But before we go further into the topics, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4 but I definitely appreciate that. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the government of Jamaica finally reacting to news about them having to pay for Vibes Cartel legal fees, right? So let me get to this article. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. And also, I don't feel like they like how them have to pay a fee, right? I don't feel like they going to give them a warmer time because I kind of see some people have said that, you know. So them, I know they're going to give them a harder time because they have to go pay a fee, the legal fees and stuff like that. Anyway, this is what the article is saying, right? Government aware of costs are the following Vibes Cartel appeal case, ODPP discussing amounts. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck says the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions is aware that the government has been ordered to pay all costs relating to the United Kingdom UK Privy Council appeal of Vibes Cartel and his co-appellants. The order was not included in the judgment on March 14th when Cartel, whose real name is Adija Palmer, Sean, Sean Stamp, Campbell, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John had their murder conviction overturned. The formal order relating to costs came down to the UK Privy Council two weeks ago. Speaking with IRFM News, Minister Chuck explained that the move is not unusual. He further explained that the amount to be paid must be agreed upon the DPP's office and will be taxed. Meanwhile, one of Cartel's attorneys, Alexandra Labish, said the appellants who were already aware of the order are satisfied that there will be some level of compensation. So yeah, my people, basically I can't tell them feel good, so at least, you know, the, the money where them spend, forget them case heard at the UK Privy Council, the entertainer and the rest uh, co-accuse them, them feel good, so yeah, man, the government are going sort them out and thing and thing, you understand? So I guess we just have to wait and see when them actually pay it and thing. As you know, my people, and I'm going to tell you this still, and I like it to come out of Andrew Wellness Pocket, are we the taxpayers really and truly have to pay for it? You understand? Well, a lot of women say everybody has say, and definitely it makes sense. It's not like it's going to really, um, we call it now, cost unjoyness anything, but of course, it's still unjoyness related because I am the prime minister, right? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is unjoyness being urged to get rid of Sir P. You understand? And this is coming from a man, I guess, him consider himself to be a garrison youth and thing. And it's like him as a Serpy is actually causing more harm than good in Jamaica. Which is something we see a lot of persons as a zine. But the brother here say, yo, Andrew Onis, them need to seek out Serpy and get rid of him out of the system. <laughs> you understand? But you know, of course, a lot of persons love Serpy, them love the work where I do. But on the flip side, you have them people you know where I say, look, Serpy. Him is doing more harm than good because him put out people's photo and him says some things. And according to them, you know, Zane, them say the news not got away there. But of course, we see a lot of times where Sir P say some things and then we see the police have put out the same information with Sir P say. So I'm not sure if the police them listen Sir P and I work off of him or Sir P was like an ex-police and him still have links and whatever it may be. But anyway, my people, let me get to this video right now. I want to tell me in the comment section if you feel like Sir P is actually causing more harm than good in the country. Listen to this. Yeah, after anyone on TikTok, I want to just sound like a thing on the internet of your torture. You see me? Oh, that brother here with them call Sir P, dog. Man, I guarantee you, G. I'm not sure of this, sir. 
Andrew all in it. So we don't need to do it right. You get me? I say? We don't need to do the right, brother. Because guess what I go on now? Them man they not fight no crime. And them man they are one of the biggest crime lords in Jamaica when they check your ratio. You see me? When you can stay so boom and they over yes and a man can tell you. Tell a man, say, yo, brother, you know, say, a John Tom just kill your cousin over this, and a John Tom just kill your little brother over this. So. And when you find out, you hear a John Tom dead round this, so. you get me I say. And brother, is like the man, one of the biggest instigators in the country, brother, and people not see it, dog. The man, one of the biggest crime boss in the country, and people not see it. Brother, the man, they're bigger than anybody where I kill all baby right now, Kawa. The man, they kill. Everybody, brother. They want to name Sir P, brother. And Joe, no need for find that brother, there, brother. And get him out of his system. Kawa. He wanna create one of the biggest crime syndicate in Jamaica, brother. You see me? One of them, my view TV, I'm one of them too. I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell you. No. I'm one of them too. You see me? I wanna be careful on the brother. Cause he youth them. You feel like one of the time you youth them now go find you too. Eh? One of the time you youth them go find you so careful I wanna do. Tell me, I tell you no. I don't need to come and find me that with the bag of lip service, brother. Wait, 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 this and that. My TVJ and CVM do that, brother. You see me? Yeah, dog. And stop instigating people, brother. People, you don't like, tag, and share up that video. You make it reach the boy when you say P, brother. You have to come down now. Yeah, my people. And as I say, from what they are just holy for that, I say, people are say, so you know, Sir P, the popular YouTuber Sir P, cause more harm than good in other countries, you know. That is, this is a serious question more I ask, and if you not agree with that, I don't you know, feel like the people just upset because you know, he might expose the truth, he might expose the crime, he might expose, you know, certain things are going on in other country. More you have to be honest and tell me what you think about this whole situation in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Paula Llewellyn, who recently stepped down as DPP, right? But she want the people to know that she has actually not resigned, because you know a lot of persons that celebrate that she's no longer DPP and acting DPP was put into place and all of that. So the woman that's not going to know, say, oh, she not resigned. Paula Llewellyn is not going down without a fight. So let me get to this article. Only can tell me what you think in the comment section, is it? So it says, Llewellyn has not resigned. King Counsel Douglas Lees, who has been retained by incumbent Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn, says she has not stepped down from her post. I can say affirmatively that she has not resigned, and it would not be advised for her to resign her position until the Court of Appeal has finally determined the issues Lees told the Gleaner yesterday. Asked whether Llewellyn is on leave of absence, Lees replied that she is not in office. The former Solicitor General revelation comes amid calls by the Jamaica Bar Association for clarity on the appointment of acting DPP Claudette Thompson. The association wants a clear explanation on whether the acting appointment was made based on the DPP post being vacant or through Llewellyn's inability to perform the function of the office. Llewellyn on Monday stepped aside as the Attorney General indicated that he would be appealing the aspects on Friday's constitutional court ruling and the validity of her extended tenor. The full court had ruled that the change in the constitution in July last year to raise the age of retirement for the DPP and the Auditor General from 60 to 65 was valid. However, the amendment allowing Llewellyn to choose to remain was invalid. The DPP reached the age of retirement in 2020 but got a three-year extension which ended in September 2023. The judges further ruled that only lawful way to extend Llewellyn's current tenor is by agreement between the Prime Minister of Jamaica and the leader of the opposition. Opposition lawmakers Philip Paulwell and Peter Bunting had initiated the challenge to the amendment to the constitution while the Attorney General was the respondent in the matter. King Counsel Michael Hilton, who represented Paulwell and Bunting, argued that the ruling meant that Louis Lane would have to leave office immediately. However, other parties, including the Attorney General Chambers and Minister of Justice Delroy Chuck, were of the view that no such order had been made. All right, people, so that's what's going on. The article long, um, I can't bother read out the whole light, but basically, she's not um, fired, like what we did as say initially. She not resigned. So I guess you can say that she's still DPP, but she's on a little leaf. You understand? And that leaf can be 
permanent or temporary based on how this appeal go with the Labour Right Party file for. You understand my people? I guess that's kind of a quick way to summarize it for you. So I for watch and see what's going on and only can tell me anything about this. As I said, DPP Paula Llewellyn, it don't seem like she's giving up without a fight, is it? Alright people, so the next thing we're going to talk about is some news I will say over from Pinkwall in relation to Bujabant and son Miles Mary who recently passed away. You understand my people? Very unfortunate situation. But them sending something saying that today is Bojo Bantan's son's funeral in Jamaica, sending prayers to the family. Now, of course, no photos have surfaced on the internet or videos. Well, at the time I'm, I'm doing this video, we're not seeing no pictures and them thing there. So, what going to say allegedly to them funeral car, we're not seeing Bojo Bantan make no announcement, we're not seeing none of that on the page. So, I think Bojo them does try to do this as private as possible if today is in fact Miles Mary funeral. You understand no matter some people. So, a lot of persons are saying out them condolences and you know just tell Bojo same for stay strong and them thing there one person said despite whatever is being said no parent should have to bury their child somebody said I hope the sister get to make it because I remember Miles Mary's sister did put out a GoFundMe um, you know she didn't want to raise money for she and her kids them come to Jamaica for come at the funeral not sure if the GoFundMe page make the amount where she did want to make but they remember how much money um, she did actually forget but anyway Somebody say, um, my deepest condolences to Sir Bujo family and friends. Somebody say, sending prayers and strength for Bujo Bantan as he laid this son to rest. May God give the strength to be strong. Yeah, may God give the strength to be strong. It cannot be an easy feeling. Have to bury your child. Enough, enough respect and strength, Bujo. God bless. Somebody say, he had a lovely smile. May his soul rest in peace. Yeah, my people, so I'm not read out no more comments, you know, their work. People are showing them support, like I say. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Baker, who got into some problems with the police in Halfway Tree. And based on like some of the comments them when I read under the video, it's like, they must say, I cause him, I'm license plate, him license plate is not placed properly, and that are the reason why them actually stop him. Now, I don't really know my people, but I got actually play the video, see, and them said this happened Tuesday, and of course, you don't know the thing with Kraft, the situation between Kraft and the police, them happened on Wednesday, it's almost the same spot after a treat happened, you understand? But anyway, my people, let me run the clip here, and only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Dedicated to all of my enemies. I'm not a premium, I'm not a premium, I'm not a premium friend. So if you feel like me, I'm Yeah, man, so as I say, some persons in the comment section are saying, um, I'm license plate. Why them stop him? You understand? Somebody said, Observe the video. The license plate is not properly fixed or affixed. Driver now wearing a shirt, tint on the vehicle, and we don't know if the driver Baker has a license. If you get stopped, and behaving disorderly, you see it. So I'm not really sure what's what really are going on. You understand what I mean? Uh, but you know, after recently, some people feel like the police them are target the artists them from popcorn, go right down to craft, and even in the, back in the days, them used to say the police them are target alkaline and them people, you see it. So I don't know. And since we're on the topic here as it relates to police are target artists and them thing there, Shakin Murray made a video. And he address the whole police are target artists and them thing. I'm more know if you feel like say the police them are they really targeting the dancehall artists them or you feel like the dancehall artists them and make themselves a target because it's a big difference, you know. They ain't driving without shirt like what them say and you know behaving badly when the police them stop you and them thing. They can obviously cause you forgetting you know, problems, more problems than you even want forgetting. You, know. you understand? So I wonder if that's the case. I you know, feel like some of the artists them feel like they're above the law. And when police see them, them for just move out them way. Or when you feel like, say, look, some of the police, them, them just bad mind. Them don't like to see the young youths, them as strive. Them don't like to see get the youth have things. I don't know if you tell me in the comment section, but anyway, let me get to the video now with Chuck and Murray. And as usual, my people, you can tell me anything about where they Rasta fear and I say, is it? Mm -hmm. Why so much young artists are get harassed by police lately? The other day, I see them have Mali in a one jeep back till he nearly drop out of it. Now, a craft, I see them have done a half a tree somewhere there. You know, say it. I mean, I say weird. One of them things happen so frequently lately. Maladan, no craft. 
Wag one. I wonder if the youth them innocent and the police them harass them for nothing at all. Ah, the youth them do something. Well, I have said, youth man, if they are the in vehicle in the ranks, stop it and focus on the music. And I said to the officer, them say, if the youth them not do nothing, you know if you harass the youth them aya. And if the youth them do something, I want to do no duty, I saw it go. But if the youth them not do nothing, don't harass the youth them. And I want them like a youth, you know. You know be careful how you put your foot out there. Because it slip out there, you know. It slip out there and it red out there. And any time you see you're so young and police are harass you, harass you, harass you, you have to watch where you put your foot because if you don't know where you do, you will get lost in the system. So I talk to the young youth, them. focus on the music and watch how you put your foot. When you step out on the yard and go somewhere, be vigilant. You know, say it. Remember, you know, I and I know support criminality. And I know, I and I know support police abusement. And I and I policy is non-political and non-violent. So, you man, watch on and put on a foot. Out of road. Me, shocking Morris said that. Yeah, my people, so more and if you don't agree, and I'm going to tell you something, whether you're an artist or you're just a regular person, you see, if your vehicle is straight, if everything Gucci and thing, the police stop you, they stop show them your documents and thing, and that's basically it, isn't it? Me? If they try to put something on you now, or if they want to try to intimidate you, if you try to get money off of you, then you know how to deal with that accordingly. But from your vehicle straight, and you, are, you know, you are the way you're supposed to do in a lawful way, then you're all right. You see, my people, so that's how I look upon it still, but we know it's not always that way, as you have some officers love to abuse them power. You understand? But let me know anything about this in the comment section. And what I talk about Tony Mataran sending a strong one into craft right about now so let me actually get to this article so you can understand what's going on is it so the article is saying tony mataran scores craft on what to do and what not to do during police stop dancehall artist craft received a lengthy scolding from popular selector tony mataran about his running with the law on wednesday the dj was arrested after being stopped in traffic by police his course of action after being stopped which included a heated altercation with the police was the worst way to go about the situation according to tony Tony Mataran. In a video, Tony Mataran noted, the street police them, most of them jealous. Always remember that you may name craft, but you not have no craft like the police them. You have to be smart. He continued by emphasizing that craft should be smart in order to outcraft the police and added that he was not acting smart when the incident occurred. Tony Mataran expressed that he believes that the popular entertainer was stopped due to his eye and vehicle, but more particularly because of the blue license plate on the vehicle. Mataran later stated that a blue license plate is used by a car dealership and not by an ordinary individual. Later in the video, he stated that Kraft wrongfully flashes underway from the police and should not have used gesticulation or pulled up his pants, both of which could have escalated the situation. Yes, even my people. Maybe never, never, never pronounce that word right, but that's what Tony Mataran have to say. Maybe know if you don't agree with the words or the, the advice I should have said that Tony Mataran is giving to Kraft. I don't feel like the way he crafted that behave him just to make things worse for himself leave it in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is jeffrey using aisha and for this footer hype zine and recently footer hype did make some talk in well him never called jeffrey name but based upon what him say you could have tell said jeffrey my talk now everybody knows that jeffrey drive one of the top bands them the glc or the glc or GLE. one of them the but the big version is him a people a couple million well feet about 25 mil or somewhere off that line maybe even more than that anyways a lot of persons that say Jeffrey are going to hype and you know people are saying a lot of things about him especially after him do a recent interview in which him basically put the host in him place and the host did ask him about the bins and you know monthly payments and one bag of thing Jeffrey did feel annoyed and him say some things and some people are saying hype and all them type of thing there's it's a footer I make a post say at least the care them with him own 
him uh, fully own them then see him, him not paying a monthly payment which we don't know if Jeffrey a pay a monthly payment or not we don't know if him go sub woman him make a big food and him go sub woman just spend 20 odd million upon it I don't know people never have a conversation with him yet but most persons assume say a monthly payment him a make because him him not have them type of money there I don't know but anyway um, Jeffrey make some posts now and one of the posts them is him actually um, reposting a video and him say people are sending it to him Zane. and it's an interview <laughs> with Aisha and I talked to Winford Williams and she talked about in the interview she reflect upon when them did there and Futa go buy a BMW behind her back Zane and she said Futa hype did I do it because he was hype and he was look you know big in front of people and them thing there and according to her when them they were on food not even in the house and them something there so Jeffrey did repost it like me Say, and him put a little caption say why people are send me this with a question sign. Jeffrey know what I'm doing. Him know why people are sending him because they want you to talk about it maybe on your podcast or whatever. But him still repost it and thing. Jeffrey did also make some other posts in relation to people I call him hype and them type of thing. They see my people. Um yeah. Boy, oh boy, I don't know if him hype or not, but at the end of the day, the youth will live him life, and if he wants to feel good about himself, having a Benz, whether him pay for it fully or whether him make monthly payments, a film business that, you understand what I say? Oh, Jeffrey did also repost a video with Walk and Talk. <laughs> Watch a clip here. Legend. Yeah, man. So when you hear the person that asks what I can talk, or when him go GLE, cause it seems like a lot of persons have problems with Jeffrey and him GLE and thing. And of course, you know, what I can talk, um, I'm co-host. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Sean Paul winning his first Latin American Music Award. Is it? So let me get to this article right away. So it says, Sean Paul wins first Latin American Music Award. Nina Bonita and Sean Paul's 2023 collab with Colombian singer Feed has earned the dancehall superstar his first Latin American Music Award. The song won the awards for a collaboration crossover of the year at the 2024 Latin American Music Awards Gala, which was held on Thursday, April 25th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. The other songs nominated in the category were DN Test by J Balvin, Usher and DJ Khaled, El Merengue by Marshmello and Manuel Teresa, Ajala by The Road Boys, Maluma and Adam Levine, and vacation or vocation, my bad, vocation by Azuna and David Goeda. Paul was also nominated for Best Crossover Artist but lost to Marshmello. It feels good, Sean Paul told Dan Salmag. A lot of times you do something outside the norm and you are not sure where it will lead you, but just have faith and step. Me working with the Latin genre is something I've done from my early stage of my career. I remember the early days going to New York and it was evident I had a strong Latin crowd and I did over a song Punky in Spanish and from there my fan base in that market started to grow. He added I'm always looking to diversify my fan base and to receive this acknowledgement is a great feeling hard work really pays off so that's good my people. Big up Sean Paul let's continue putting the work. You see me Sean Paul I wanna with talents them where we have to, you know give him him flowers then. You understand my people give him him flowers from now and thing definitely you know it might not be my favorite artist in about the work where my put in and the hour the accolades and the awards and where my get we can't deny it you understand anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and that's it for the video don't forget to like share and subscribe bless upon yourself and respect to everybody who watch the video is it i'm out